Hello everyone and welcome back to Crastorio 2. This is Otaku Showboat. If you have enjoyed the series thus far, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff below the video. You can of course support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Otaku Showboat if you are so inclined and able. Last time we met, I did various things, but in particular I set up mining of mineral water. And today, the first thing I need to do is go and grab myself some fuel to use. And I think I'm just going to grab some rocket fuel from the fuel stop rather than use uh, fuel for the vehicle. Vehicle fuel. Because oddly enough, I can throw rocket fuel into trains. I don't know why... Castorio has an arbitrary limitation on the car of having dedicated car fuel that doesn't apply to trains equally. Like, like, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't understand. It would have been, it would have been, a, I think, a little bit more interesting if you had to give trains... Oh, my rock finder is working today. Uh, it would be more interesting if you had to give trains fuel, the item of fuel, or, or biofuel, or the advanced fuel, and could only give it those types of fuels and not use rocket fuel. But then what ends up being the point of the rocket fuel, right? Then why, why bother using the rocket fuel for anything at all at that point? It sort of does become a little superfluous. If, uh... If you can't use it on the trains. Trains are like our major use of these up quote-unquote upgraded versions of, uh, of solid fuels. And since I have access to the electric furnaces, well then there's no point in using that type of fuel in furnaces now, is there? And we are going to start heading right on back where I just was on the mining of the mineral water so that I can give the train some fuel, the locomotive some fuel to pull the train and set up my wonderful sourcing priority. Oops. My sourcing priority on the mineral water. The mineral water. Oh, I did I? Yes, there it is. There we go. Gonna start heading on up to the north. The far north. The farthest of far. Uh, I should also have the mining buildings being made in my mall for the uh, Immersite mining. Because that's our next steps, is uh, Immersite Mining. Like, once I get into quantum computers, I do need to make AI cores, so technically this is next. Uh, which means I do need to mine Immersite and get Nitric Acid. We are going to start here in Mineral Water Processing for Nitric Acid, as well as Lithium. Because I'm going to need that for a Lithium Sulfur Battery item that'll be useful for lots of things. St Stuff and things! Stuff and things! Alright, you are... Mineral. S2D. What even is that, uh... Random ass... Al... Alf... Alf! The alien life form! Where even is that? Alf Torre. Why is that? Oh, there. Uh. R. No. S. U235. One. Just so that it's not some random name. Uh, and full cargo. Circuit condition. And you can do your thing. Ta da! Also,
Gib. Yul, you can do your thing. And also... You can do your thing. Yes, three trains. Three of them for my fluids on this day. Now to get to a spot where I will process this stuff. I am thinking that I am going to begin. Do I have enough room for my regular station here? Let's have it be right in here. That'll be one, and that'll be the other. Oops. That will be one, and then that will be the other. One of these is going to be doing the nitric. The other will be doing the lithium. I do want them to be separate from each other. Absolutely want to keep them separate. I do not have enough of my rail segments for this, though. Each one of those is somewhere along the 500 rail segment range. Uh, it is precisely how much? Uh, 420. I did not plan that my rail stations would be precisely 420 units of rail. That was not intentional. I swear it. That was not intentional. Cue everyone being like, rolling their eyes and being like, yeah, not intentional, huh? It, it, it legit was not intentional to be 420. That number in particular. Let's just destroy a few forests while we're here. Or a big piece of a forest and then head on back to the mall. Yes, get get back inside where you belong and off we go. 88 now. A few 235. A few units. Uh, perhaps I should mention that this is going to be the final video that I have pre-recorded before going out on my trip to Massachusetts where I will be packing and loading of stuff that we want to bring from my grandmother's house. So after this, I will have had time to review comments and all of that good stuff and uh, we'll be recording afresh, somewhat close to when the videos have been released. Somewhat close. We will, we will see. It's still probably a couple videos of lag time. But anyway, that's the whole idea is to have, uh, well, the whole idea is to have stuff done well ahead of time through the vast majority of the following week that I'll be back, that I'll physically be back. So over these past few videos, I should have been, I should be physically back, but resting. And I will be streaming, but that'll be the extent of it. I don't want to uh, force myself to record additional videos if I do not have to. Uh, and I will, of course, be doing some recording of the weekend videos of uh, Crastorio and such. That That is uh, what I think I'll be doing. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And I'm here for rails, and they have brought me rails. Greater than zero. Ex existent rails. I am almost full on my on my stuff here. Is there anything I am comfortable getting rid of? Those electronic components, the plastic, and the cables. And the stone and the coal. Oh, and the Logibot can be free. I have freed it from its captivity. Uh, get rid of those uh, as well. 
And we're off back. Back, I say, to where we need to go to do our processing. So what do we want to start with? Lithium or nitric acid? The nitric is more important for the immediate progression. The lithium is also important. Important, but not as important for more immediate progression. I need to decide pretty quickly. The, I think the lithium is going to be easier slash is more interesting to make. So I think I'm going to stick with the lithium first and then get into the nitric acid. We'll see how much I can get done in this particular recording. Because really, the nitric acid, I mean, I need ammonia, which is going to be equal parts nitrogen, hydrogen, which just, my brain explodes. That's not, <laughs> that, no. N none of the chemical formula match. N nothing makes sense on the chemical formulas, it's just arbitrary. Like, sure, it's nitrogen and hydrogen, but it's not equal parts to make ammonia. It's not It's not equal parts. I mean, if you want to be really anal about it, making ammonia from atmospheric nitrogen and hydrogen, while possible, is not technically... It's not how they do it in, like, industrial scale, because it uses a lot of energy. It, it takes a lot of power to actually do that. A lot of heat to do that because you have to break the naturally occurring hydrogen, hydrogen, and nitrogen, nitrogen bonds. They really don't want to be free units of nitrogen and hydrogen. So yeah, it ends up taking a lot of heat to overcome that to make ammonia out of atmospheric nitrogen and hydrogen. But hey, video game. Vidya game. Let's not have a look at that because it's actually pretty simple to do the nitric. Yeah, that's it's so simple. Lithium is the more better thing. Speaking of lithium, what is it used for outside of just those batteries? Tritium and matter research data. So yes, I do want to have lithium as a completely separate production. Yeah, completely separate production for lithium. Let's also ignore the fact that you can just, you know, get lithium. <laughs> like, let's let's ignore that you can get mineralized mineralized lithium. I mean, yeah, we're, we're processing a bit from water here, but uh, it's, it's a thing that you can mine. Lithium is an element, and it's a thing that can be that can be mined. Uh, in in this case, we're getting it out of. Uh, we're basically evaporating, well, electrolyzing a lithium chloride solid out of a water. Because apparently, there's lithium in this water, and in order to get the lithium out of the water, we're making a lithium chloride solid. We're forcing it to bond with chlorine. Uh, gas. With a chlorine gas permeating into water, I guess, that is being then... You then electrolyze that solid by putting it in water again to get free lithium. Somehow. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you get the, the the not logic behind this? It's not logic. Anyway, this doesn't need anything in outside of the mineral water, ultimately. Uh, at the at the very end, but it does need this hydrogen chloride, so we do need to think about that. I did not think about that because I didn't put this near the stone like I said I would, but oh well. Uh, so if I want, like, five, if I want, like, 50, I want, like, let's keep it 30. Sure, 30. 
Uh, you see 60, 60 on the chlorine. I don't need a consistent supply of chlorine. So if I was carrying stone on me, I could just make it once and be done with it. But this is going to need a consistent supply of 60 free hydrogen. And I can absolutely do that with some atmospheric condensers, which is exactly what I am going to do. We can also do productivity on the everything, and that is a problem. To the creators of Crastorio, fix this, please. Uh, you should not have productivity on this cycle, on the production of hydrogen chloride, as well as on the production of lithium. Uh, and the reason being is that you do not want a circumstance where you end up with more of something than what you started with. In this case, you end up with more chlorine than what you have started with. You have broken the first law of... <laughs> you, you have broken the laws of thermodynamics. It, like, you, you can't make something out of nothing. Uh, which is what's happening here. It, you have you have violated the laws of thermodynamics, thermodynamics. So I'm going to do it. I'm I'm totally going to do this. But well, a that's a f ton of modules. There's no way I'm actually going to realistically do this at this scale with the number of modules that this requires. But just know, note that this is a thing that. I do not agree with. This should not take productivity. Uh, in any sense, this should not take productivity. Um, none of these steps should have productivity. Maybe the initial an initial chlorine production, like the elect the electrolyzing of chlorine, is fine for productivity uh, to to make chlorine, but nothing else should have productivity because you return chlorine here. You lose this one-to-one -one relationship when you throw productivity at this, and you end up with more than what you start with. Like, that's, that's free. That's chlorine for free, basically. And you should be avoiding that like the plague. That is something Pyanodon is very good at fixing when it comes up. Whenever it comes up. I am going to need a few more electrolysis plants in the end if I really want to do 15, uh, do 30 per second. We're probably just going to be satisfied with 10 in the end. Uh, I do need the initial source of chlorine, which... Uh, This isn't going to give me that knowledge at all. I just need to have, like, one electro electrolyzer giving me stuff. This is what makes this interesting. This is why I wanted to do lithium to, well, point it out that uh, there can be trouble if you do have uh, productivity on here. All right, so nine atmospheric condensers. Uh, making hydrogen. I don't know, is it better to do this, or is it better to just have the... four, like that? That's a gap of four. That would be a gap of four, so I don't I don't think it matters. It just replaces a couple of it does replace a couple of undergrounds with a regular pipe, which I guess is a cost savings, a material savings by doing it in this manner. All right, there's the consistent supply of hydrogen, but as I said, we need to get an an initial supply of Chlorine, too, and that's going to spend sand. 
and water. So I would need to crush some stone into sand. Do I not have crushers? There. I would need to crush some stone into sand, and I am unfortunately not carrying around any stone on me. Hey game, do you happen to have any stone? Do you happen to have existent amounts of rocks nearby? That would be ideal, to say the least. Ideal to have existent amounts of stone slash sand. Here's a few units of stone. A uh, good hundred units of stone. Excellent. Just, uh, just a few units of stone. I would like more than that, but oh well. All I need is enough chlorine to move through the pipes and the buildings. That's all I need in the end. I'm actually going to take all that stone, throw it into the thing, get this blowing attached to the doohickey. I am going to flare the hydrogen. This does need water. Where's my thingy? There it is. That will move and produce water. I am going to have a tank that will fill with chlorine slowly as I process this sand into chlorine. Ideally, enough units of chlorine to fill the stuffs. This makes 20 chlorine per cycle for 10 sand. So another 15 cycles worth. Eh, ah, that's nah. Probably not even remotely going to be enough to keep things flowing over time, but oh well. Really? Okay. Yeah, there's stuff sitting in that pipe too. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's move on with our lives. I need two, two whole chem plants. Making me hydrogen chloride. Do, do remember, hydrogen chloride is gaseous. If it's aqueous, it is hydrochloric acid. That's the difference. That is the only difference. Okay? That is the only difference between them. HCl is HCl, but it's named differently depending on whether or not it's gaseous or fluidic. Hydrogen chloride is the gas. The gas. Next, I need 10 of my doohickeys. Making me the solid of lithium chloride. This is what's going to need to bring in the water. I do not need another station on here. Let us bring in the water. I need to copy and paste from a spot that is requesting water. We got tech. Good. You are going to be our mineral water at lithium one. Bring me the mineral water. Off it comes. Here we go. 
with the mineral mineralist of mineral water. I do very much hope and pray that the amount of hydrogen chloride in here is sufficient. I am like almost out of pipe as well. I don't know if I'm going to have enough for my purposes here. Anyway, off you go to the side for the mineral water, then it's power to the everything, don't forget the outputs. You are doing 10 per second. Okay, that is a 1 to 1 ratio. Interesting. Oh. Red belt, please. Please, red. Well, 50 electrolyzers. That is a lot of electrolyzers they can absolutely be next to each other they are not they are producing a gas as well so uh but yeah that's 10 20 3 4 5 Uh, so, I mean, obviously this needs to rotate and go outwards and then, like, do a splitter situation. The pipes on this, I mean, as I said, we're not gonna, we're, we do not, we officially do not have enough stuff for the, uh, for the pipes. Oh yeah, squeak through also. Fails me with electrolysis plants. We may as well not even have squeak through with these electrolysis plants. I am going to need to pick up some pipe from somewhere. I think my belt mall is closer, so that's where I will go. Oh, please squeak. Yes, thank you. We will have enough time to set this up, don't you worry. We'll, we will not have enough time to set up the other thing, the nitric acid. That'll be what we do when we get back from the break. For you, it'll be seamless, and it'll be the next video, but for me, it'll be quite some time. And hopefully I remember that it's nitric acid that's the next thing that's on my agenda. That is, of course, a thing that... Uh, could happen. I could just forget. I will likely have forgotten everything by the time I get back. My my current state of play here. So, pipes are required here. Let's let's store some pipe in the vehicle and head on out. I wonder how many uh, doohickeys I have in my network at this point. The uh, That would be me. This is the mall. So the mall has 18 productivity threes and 15 speed threes at this point in time. That's what I was looking for. My car finder found the one rock in the middle of nothing. In the middle of absolutely nowhere. The vehicle did has its it the vehicle uh, rock finder still remains absolutely glorious. It works just fine. It works wonderfully. Anyway, up we go back again to our location here. Uh, so what I'm what I'm going to do, I think pretty obviously, is I'm going to be 
grabbing this stuff like so, then copying and pasting down the line, and then copying and rotating and pasting in the middle. Uh, I suppose what I could also do is make sure that I have the inserters all sorted before doing this. Although this will, like, not mirror them. By doing it this way, they'll be a little offset. This is also going to use basically every single unit that I have on me of the uh, stuffs. I will need to grab what I have in the vehicle as well, because this is a lot of pipe. It's uh, 100 units of straight segments and way more than that on... Excuse me? Oh, right. I, I brought exactly 50 with me, and I have one making chlorine, obviously. Oh, right. I also need, you know, input. Inputs are good. I like inputs. Times 25. No, not that one. That one. Uh, that grabs all of the stuff. It's randomized? Really? Of all the things to have a random sprite on, lithium chloride has random sprites. Cool. Great job. We're putting a little, a little bit of variation between a large stack and a short stack for lithium. There we go. Just add power. The beautiful stuff, otherwise known as power. No. Just no. This is not nifty do it this way on the outside i'm not in the mood to spend so much uh stuff resources so many resources just for this thing uh so add water obviously needs water Wah 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 wah. Where's my wah wah? And that's it. It should be moving. And then we combine the chlorine somewhere. Like here is fine. Like so. And then get the chlorine brought cycled that way. And all that stone I just made, yeah, you're going to make more chlorine. So that I have more than plenty to cycle through the system. Hopefully. Hopefully. And in the meantime, well, there's a bunch of stuff that we've just made. We has lithium. Glorious, beautiful, wonderful lithium. Whoops, one tile off. Oh well. Lithium! 
Yay, we did it. We did the lithium. Let me load the thing. This is going to be up to 10 per second. Uh, and the stack size is 400. Yeah, one. One stack will be plenty for now. I need to grab from my vehicle, wherever I parked, some rocket fuel. Uh, the rocketist of rocket fuel. And be like, oh hey, you are supplier of lithium one. One, not two, excuse me. One. And you are, of course, the a depot for lithium one. And there we go. Supply to demand. Full cargo. And circuit condition. Auto magic. The autoist of uh, magic. Hey, we got a tech. More techs. More techs. Give more techs. More cargo size is not available at this point in time. Nuclear fuel reprocessing will be good. The inserter stack sizes, I guess, is something I can do next. Whatever. Don't. Don't care. Uh, oddly enough, the lab research speed upgrades somewhat actually matter in a case where I am... where you have speed penalties because of productivity modules in particular. So if you have speed penalties and you don't want to use a whole bunch of beacons to improve the speed on the labs, you can use this tech to offset some of the speed penalties from that uh, productivity stuff. However, with that, folks, with lithium built, I suppose the final thing that I will do over here is just break things, obviously, uh, is to just go on over to right next door to place down the rest of this train station. And I will label it so that I know that, oh hey, we are we are about to work on nitric acid fluid, by the way. Fluid, nitric acid being fluidic. Aqueous, aqueous solution, that is, that is the term. It is in aqueous solution, uh, located right here, nitric acid. And there we go, we have built a thing. The bots need to be bots. There we go, charge, be charged, please. All right, we have we have done the thing. I'm going to just label this as nitric acid station. And we are good to go from here. The lithium should be cycling and all of that good stuff. I may need a bit more of the stone to get some more chlorine cycling in this system, but otherwise... Or I could throw a couple of uh, productivity modules temporarily, and I will eventually have a full pipe of chlorine out of nothing at all. Cough, cough. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This is the problem that I mentioned why these things should not have productivity, because you can just make as much chlorine as you need from uh, zero stuff. Yeah. Breaking the laws of thermodynamics in the process. Anyway, we have gone through all of that today. I have definitely gotten more level 3 modules <laughs> through, through the whole process of doing stuff. Uh, I it looks like I have more of the wonderful... Assembling Machine 3s as well to look forward to. However, this is the end of today's video, and it is the last video I am 
going to be recording for quite some time. Of course, for you, this will be seamless going into the next video, ideally. For me, not so much. I'm going to be away from this for over a week, closer to two weeks. So we shall see what ends up happening when I return and what uh, state I'll be in, in terms of my memory of what we've been doing in this base. But I guess that is something that you can look forward to. So with that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Showboat. If you have enjoyed this video and the series thus far, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff down below. And you can, of course, support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash otakushowboat if you are so inclined and able. I will see you all on the next one where we will ideally be setting up some nitric acid before then moving on into immersite mining and processing. I will see you all then. Thank you.